so let's talk about a very special problem regarding low pass and high pass filter design using open so we have a very good problem you can see this problem here a time varying signal v in is this is v it is fed to an op-amp circuit with output signal v0 okay, as shown in the figure below the circuit implements a high pass filter or low pass filter with cutoff frequencies are different given to you how can you solve this particular problem this is a very interesting problem what we can do we can utilize Kirchhoff's uh, current law kcl into different nodes and we can get an answer to this question so uh, here i have shown you three nodes you can see node a node b here and node c here okay here so we're going to utilize the kcl and we're going to find out the gain v0 by vi and from the gain we can get an expression of that gain okay and from the gain expression we can determine whether it is a low pass filter or a high pass filter so three nodes we have a b and c so first of all we are applying our kcl piece of current law at node a okay if you apply kcl at node a what you're gonna get you're gonna get v a minus v in by one kilo ohm okay so uh, let me just tell you beforehand one thing that uh, all the resistances we are considering in kilo ohm okay so at the end also we'll just replace things by kilo ohm so v a minus v in as per the case of current law, current entering should be equal to current leaving because this is the conservation of charge no charge should accumulate should be accumulated so v a minus v in this should be equal to v minus v a by 10 simple law so you can take v a common so 1 plus 1 by 10 this is equal to v by 10 plus v in okay from here you get 11 by 10 v a is equals to v in plus v by 10 let's name this equation we got one equation this so let's name this equation as equation number one now let's apply this acl at node b okay let's apply acl at node b so current entering the junction is equal to current leaving the junction so if you look at b voltage at v will be equal to voltage up here from the properties of an open and you can see you have a ground here here you have the ground so what you can write for node b on node b you can write v a minus 0 by 1 because vv is equals to va this should be equals to v output va minus v naught minus va divided by the resistance it is 10 kilo ohm so divided by 10 so we can common va va is equals to 1 plus 1 upon 10 this is equals to v naught upon 10 and from here 11 by 10 va so va is equals to 10 10 get cancelled so v naught upon 11 so another equation we have got by applying kcl to node b so let's say this is equation number two and finally let's apply the kcl finally apply kcl at node c what do you get now let's try to look at node c you see what is our score node c is this you can see it is connected this this and this is not you know, no current is flowing through this so this and this so let's write that so if you apply kcl at node c what you're gonna get you're gonna get 0 minus v0 by 10 okay 
zero minus v zero. Look, this is virtually ground. So for this, this is the voltage zero. Okay, na. So that is why we have written zero minus v zero by ten. This would be equal to this current leaving v minus zero by one microfarad. That means the reactance we have to consider. Okay, so this is equal to v minus zero. By the resistance equivalent to the capacitance, so we are denoting it by X C. Okay, so this is equals to uh, from here you can get the value of V. V is equals to minus V naught upon 10 times X C. So we are getting the third equation by applying K C L to the third load. Now, if you put or substitute putting the values. that we have obtained from equation 2 and 3 into equation 1 so if you put the values uh, we get in 2 and 3 into equation 1 what you get 11 by 10 va so va is equals to v not by 11 so this will become v not upon 10 this is equals to v input minus v not into xc by 10 into 10 100 if we put the values of 2 and 3 into equation 1 you will get this equation again we take v not common 1 by 10 plus x c by 100 this is equals to v input and from here we get a complex expression of v output by v input is 100 divided by 10 plus x c so this can be written especially by 10 by dividing by 10 both to both numerator and denominator so 1 plus xc by 10 now what is the value of xc xc is equals to 1 by j omega c 1 by j omega c into 10 as you have already told you everything we have taken in kilo ohm so here this 10 is 10 kilo ohm right i am just writing it kilo ohm at the last stage So that you don't get confused. So, what is the magnitude of the voltage gain? Therefore, the magnitude of the voltage gain. ये कितना हो जाएगा? A is equals to modulus of V zero by V n. So, modulus of ten by one plus one by J omega c. 10 kilo ohm so 10 into 10 to the uh, okay so 10 kilo ohm let's keep it as 10 kilo ohm so 10 into what 3 ohm and if you put the value of the capacitance which is given to you as uh, 1 microfarad 10 to the power minus 6 and we are taking this j up so this is minus j okay divided by omega c is 10 to the power minus 6 and this 10 to the power 4 so what does it become finally it is becoming 10 upon 1 minus j divided by into 10 to the power 2 ho gaya ye divided by omega and this expression can be written in this way 10 by 1 minus j into omega c by omega so i think this form of the gain is familiar to you 10 by 1 minus j omega c by omega what is omega c here here your omega c is nothing but 10 to the power 2 okay this is the cut off angular frequency now from here you can get the cut off frequency omega by dividing it by 2 pi so 100 pi 2 pi this will come out to be approximately 16 hertz now let's consider the gain so when omega tends to zero low frequency omega tends to zero we get a if it put omega tends to zero then this will become a will be zero when omega let's say tends to infinity your a is becoming 10 so if you draw a graph between the gain and the angular frequency what do you get a versus omega so 
near zero gain is zero and as we are going to a particular frequency your gain becoming saturated okay so this kind of graph is that. so this is nothing but it is allowing the hyper frequency it is allowing the high frequency to pass so this is nothing but a high pass filter with frequency 16 hertz okay so let's look at the option it is a high pass filter with the cutoff frequency of 16 hertz so it is correctly matching with option a high pass filter with current correct cutoff frequency of 16 hertz so i hope you have understood this problem very well if you have any doubt query question regarding this problem you can let me know in the comment section before i end this video let me just tell you guys you can join me on an academy class if you are preparing for cs and technical science you can have a look at my courses by visiting this URL on academy.com slash other at physics hub you will get all the detailed course like mathematical physics classical quantum electromagnetic and many more you can join an academy class using our referral code physics hub physcxhuv you get a lot of benefits after taking an academy class subscription some of the benefits have been listed here and this is the current subscription plan going on you can get for we'll go for three months six months 12 months or 24 months subscription you can utilize our referral code physics app for getting the maximum benefits so this is all for this video guys thank you very much for watching this video if you are new to this channel please subscribe the channel and don't forget to press the bell icon finally thanks for watching